Hey guys, so it's really dark right now. It was light when I started filming and now the sun is setting so I try to hurry up as much as I could but but yeah, I don't have any lights so this is why filming is kind of an issue for me because I only have like one window of time where I can film a day because the sun has to be at the right spot pretty much. And today that was just not happening but I filmed, it's done, here you go. So this is going to be pretty similar to the Red Dramatic Cat Eye tutorial. So first I'm going to lay down some scotch tape to get a nice crisp line. And again I'm taking it out a little bit from my corner because I want it to be a bit bigger. The first shadow is going to be Peach Smoothie and this is going to be my transition shade. Next I'm going to take this intense lime green shade called Fuji and I'm going to blend that in with peach smoothie but I'm going to have a very light hand because I don't want to go overboard at this point. So I've said it in the past but you can always add more but you can't remove it once it's there unless you want to do it all over so yeah just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take Dragonfly and this is going a little bit lower. And then just carefully blend it up because you don't want to cover that whole green area. So we want that diffused edge. And just wing it out. Now I'm just going to pack on more Dragonfly with a smaller brush in the crease. Now I'm going to take Cat Von D's Deadhead which is just a matte black because I don't have the black one from Makeup Geek. So yeah, any black eyeshadow is going to work, you just put it in the outer part and just carefully blend it into your outer V and blend it up but be careful on this one so you don't go overboard and then just in the crease slightly now I'm going to take this elf professional blending eye brush and pack on some more black on the outer corner now I'm gonna go in with dragonfly again on that last brush to blend out the edge And I'm gonna go in with Fuji again to blend out the edges even more. For the lid, I'm gonna take the duochrome eyeshadow Typhoon and I'm gonna apply it on the NYX brush number 12, which is fluffy but still dense. And I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus to make it extra intense. Now just to blend out the edges. Okay, so now we can remove the tape. 
I'm gonna use the exact same colors on the bottom lash line, starting with the Fuji. I'm taking Dragonfly. And then deadhead on the other corner. I'm gonna run a little bit of typhoon really close to the last line. So for highlight, I'm gonna use this green one by Sultry Suburbia on Instagram. She will be releasing her own highlighters in December and this green one is one of them and I think it's so cool. So in the inner corner. my waterline I'm gonna use Colourpop's lippy pencil in Charm and for my top liner I'm just gonna do a very very thin line just on my lash line with the tattoo liner by Kat Von D just so that it's gonna look better with my false lashes I'm gonna coat my lashes with some mascara and apply some lashes and I'm gonna use the Ardell Wispies. So I have to try and hurry up to finish filming this last part because the sun is setting and I don't have any lights so this will be interesting. Of course I'm going to start with some contouring using the Shade and Light palette and the lighter shade. Lately I'm using this e.l.f. blush brush and it's amazing, it's $3 and I'm using it every single day for the last two months. So try this one out and yeah, let's do this. For blush, I'm gonna do H&M's Tawny Rose. And last but not least, I'm gonna highlight with Kat Von D's eyeshadow in Thunderstruck. So now I'm going to finish it all off with Colourpop's Ultra Matte Lip in Kapow. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in my next video because the sun is setting and I'm running out of time. Bye. <laughs>